Oh, no yeah. intro, okay. Let's see what they have for us. It's so dark. We're not in the city anymore, so... Are they gonna attack us? Uh, okay. Well, you'll die anyways. I'm not peaceful at this point. What do I attack? What do I do? Like... What's going on? What the hell is happening here? He's outside of the road. Ah, <sighs> This game, like, it breaks me, honestly. So I had to restart, lose my weapons. Like... I'm kinda done. I turned on the invincibility mode because... Yeah, I'm like over it. It is not as polished as I would think it was, so... I don't know if I'm just that unlucky today or... You're yeah, like, what the fuck is happening here? What? Well, at least now he might run the road. It only took... Five tries. Attack me all you want. I could care less. to try but <laughs> what uh, I don't know where to shoot honestly
Maybe you have to just wait it out. There's something glowing like in the middle, but it's very faint. Missiles don't work either, like... Wait, that's new. But I'm mortal! I'm so done with this game, honestly. 24 hours later. Die, you piece of shit! Get you. Start crying. You don't even know how many tries it took. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not playing score, but uh, whatever. And that was literally the end. Like, that's crazy that I was so close in not finishing it. <laughs> I can actually give my final thoughts and not being raged by just the mechanics and bugs. Here's the thing, the game is great, it just needs a lot more polish and guidance if you're actually progressing or not. Like, this last stage was the most horrendous thing I've experienced in VR so far. Like so frustrating so just unknown if you're actually doing the right thing or not because not only i had to turn on the invincible mode to actually pass it because quite literally impossible to do it normally the checkpoint system does not work here in particular because it's like a gauntlet so you have to repeat the previous stage and this one to actually just finish the game but like just due to the bugs and not respawning like it was just so much Some her advice. What do you mean? I'm not naive enough to think SIG is helping us out of the kindness of their hearts. I saw the battle with Caldera. What's in the hub? And don't feed me any more bullshit about telemetry. Look, either tell me or I'll crack this thing right now. Don't. It's a data core. It's the only way I could get you all off world. It's why they came in the first place, isn't it? And you promised them Caldera's darkest secrets. It's what spooked Atlas and triggered the crackdown. You stole this, they realized it was missing, and assumed it was a runner. What do you want me to say? You all backed me into a corner, Mina. I had no choice. Sometimes you have to deal with the machine. Sometimes you have to choose the lesser of two evils. Except the lesser of two evils is still evil, Vice. We both know what'll happen when we deliver this to Sarah. They take over the planet and pick up where Caldera left off. To hell with that. We draw the line at corporate espionage. Tear them all down. Don't do it, Mina. That's your only ticket off this rock. 
That's where you're wrong, Vice. Sometimes, there's more than one way out. Okay. And it puts us straight into the main menu, but what's different? You can do the new game mode, but that's it? What's a bonus? Cool, whatever. <laughs> I could go less. I remember I could unlock other bugs, but I didn't see it in the main playthrough. Probably in the second run or something. At the end of the day, I am proud of myself that I actually pushed through, continued with the bullshit and just finished this thing because, let's be real, it was just a struggle and I'm happy to be done with it. Let's see what's next. <laughs>